Hello, Pepsi. We are experimental. The exotic flavored soda. It is a soda that has exotic flavors such as um, pineapple, bubblegum, coconut. It is a product that will be benefited by Pepsi by releasing a beverage that is not has been yet created in the market. We want a different kind of soda, not like the rest of them. It is exotic flavor, color, great tasting soda. More than flavor than you have fingers. We want the customers to have a joyful and crazy scientific experience. All right, I'll be talking about the uh, target market. We will be targeting um, mostly teenagers aged 11 to 18 with uh, parents with a low to average income and in bigger cities in the south such as Miami, Dallas, Phoenix, LA. And um, uh, also towards the rapidly growing Hispanic population and some of the demographics we chose like uh, big city blues and uh, suburban pioneers, you know, just uh, a demographic where people, there's a lot of people in the area and, uh, you know, just high population. Uh, our initial campaign for advertising would be a guerrilla marketing campaign that would be low cost and build a lot of hype. Uh, it would involve using planes, graffiti artists, uh, QR codes, one second TV spots, it would involve a little bit of sleuth work, so it would be a mystery. Uh, and there would be a big promotion for the first few who were to solve the mystery. Uh, this would be one of the flyers that we, uh, that we put up throughout big cities where uh, the promotion would happen. And this is uh, the one second TV spot I mentioned a second ago, uh, where they could pause the TV and try to get the QR code off of it. And uh, for the second part of the ad campaign, it's more of your typical like TV commercial, uh, radio, internet, newspaper, magazine ad. Uh, like in our TV and radio commercial, you know, we have uh, featured athletes like TJ Oshie, Steve Nash, uh, Clay Matthews. And we are, we're also sponsored by restaurants like Taco Bell and uh, Chick-fil-A. And um, in our newspaper, we'd be, you know, uh, in, in the newspaper daily, you know, so everybody sees it. And uh, we'd be on the uh, what was it? Uh, magazine. We'd be on the back of the magazine because, you know, we pay the most because, you know, that's where people see, you know, just big and bold in there. And internet, we'd be on sites, social media sites and restaurant sites, so maybe Facebook, Twitter, Taco Bell, um, you know, maybe the Pepsi website, anything like that. So, yeah. uh, the advertising schedule for the grill marketing campaign would be about the end of April to about the end of May. Uh, the advertising campaign for the second part would start on Monday, May 20th, 2013, and uh, it ended out the end of May again. And the product release would be quite literally at the end of May and uh, for the summer to come, uh, where people would be able to get you know, a really cool, interesting drink at the beginning of the summer in the hot months. Yes. And after the sales uh, have kicked off, we will go by the bank on the money train, get money, get paid. Woo woo. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go to your commercials. <laughs> Um, 